Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I will be going over my entire new uh, fire alarm system in my garage and pool house. Uh, I spent about a month putting this system together piece by piece and I finished it uh, a little while ago. I just haven't gotten around to making a video of it yet. Uh, but here it is. We have some monitor modules on the right side. Uh, we have the main panel with feed, electrical feed on the left side. And I'm going to give you a full walkthrough and uh, hope you enjoy. So our main panel is a Silent Night SK5700, a uh, 50 point addressable panel. Uh, for this system, I'm using the SD protocol. Inside, we're utilizing the two relays, which go to the, my uh, little voice evacuation part of the panel. We have an incoming power feed. Uh, we have this. These are both set to constant. One is resettable. NAC one is resettable power for this for while system sensor smoke detector and this one goes to both the uh, smoke detector upstairs which has a sandal base and also the carbon monoxide detector. We also have the SLC loop and SBUS. Below that we have the this is a 5496 uh, intelligent power module. Uh, it's a Phonak power supply with controllable outputs from the panel through programming. Uh, we're using three of those NACs currently. NAC 1 and NAC 2 go to different uh, strobes, while NAC 4 goes to this guy, which basically just controls the paddle for this. This is the little voice evac module. Um, credit in description to the uh, channel who I learned how to do this from. It just reads off of an SD card. It has three relay inputs. Two relays are from this panel, and the third for the weather is from this one. They all feed into here. And uh, yeah, then we have a speaker output, which then is uh, wired in parallel to the two speakers on the system. We also have batteries, as always. And just one disclaimer the way I have this system set up is in absolutely no way professional. Um, because of this right here. This is a non-UL listed device. This is a cheap $25 thing I got on eBay. The rest of the system, the paddle will be off. And that will allow the sound to be normal. But then again, uh, this is not the way things should be done. This is just a demo system. To the right of the panel, we have this regular monitor module which is monitoring the contacts on this full wire smoke detector. Open it up here. It's wired full wire. The resistor. Then we also have another one, which is garage CO detector, followed by a relay. For the Looking at the front of the garage, we actually have filled detectors in here. In this closet, we have a system sensor smoke detector. Then in this area, we have a SD505 AHS heat detector. In this absolute monstrosity of a mess, which I do apologize about, we have an SD505 APS, which is address number four. And then next to that, we have a conventional uh, CO detector by system sensor, which is going into the panel. In the back of the garage, we have a Silent Night uh, model BG12L, uh, which also has a MIM module behind it. It used to be an IDP module, but I took that out and just added a MIM behind it. Then we also have the keypad for the security system. We have a Siemens branded um, speaker strobe LED. This covers this whole room. And we also have an emergency light, which is currently, which is on the same circuit as the fire alarms. And for the purpose of this video, the system will be in battery pavel. We are now above the garage in the loft. This is what that ladder is. This is uh, the home of my future ham shack. Uh, it's not complete at the moment. This is a project that's not complete either. We will be testing it though. This is a um, another monitor module, model SD500-AIM. This will be monitoring my, my weather radio for weather alerts. We have conduit which goes up to another SD505 APS on a sound base and that covers this space. Outside of the garage in the pool room now, as much as I wanted to put a smoke detector on this bulkhead, the construction of the building uh, deemed that not possible. 
So next to a Gentex um, Spico strobe, which is not, which is ceiling mounted, but is actually wall mounted in this case because I thought it looked nice and that's what I had. We have a we have another Silent Night SD505 APS addressable smoke detector on a SD505 dash uh, foot AB um, uh, mounting plate. If we go outside now uh, to the pool closet, we keep chemicals and whatnot. We have a SD505 AHS heat detector. Um, I decided to go for a heat detector because this area may have a lot of dust and I'm not sure what chemicals could cause a false alarm. So we have a heat detector set to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. In the attic ab just above the panel, we can see some of the wiring. We have wiring which goes into the, uh, the floor space above, the ceiling space I should say. You can see that right there through that hole. We also have in the corner a SD505 AHS heat detector. So for the new system, we are going to test every device in the system, starting with pulsations. This is address number three. Please. A fire emergency has been reported in the building. Please evacuate using the nearest exit and leave the building. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? A fire emergency has been reported in the building. Please evacuate using the nearest exit and leave the building. Okay, we're going to test the next pole station. Next is the panel smoke, which will activate this monitor module. Now we're gonna be putting the system in walk test. To enter walk test, enter the menu by typing in your six digit code. Then go down to system tests, walk test, in this case, no report. And we're gonna start walk test. This is how long we want the devices to sound for. Well, let's say eight seconds. And now the system is in walk test for four hours. Next, we'll be testing the garage smoke detector with real smoke. Do not attempt this. There we go, that took long enough. Next up is address five, which is the garage heat detector. There we go. This is the pool storage heat detector. This is the attic heat detector. Next, we will be testing the pool room smoke detector. Wow. Next, we will be testing the loft ham shack smoke detector.
and we'll be testing out this future use monitor module, which is configured as a non-latching device. A weather radio will eventually connect to this and when activated with a no weather um, warning, this is what will happen. We will now be demonstrating the carbon monoxide feature, which is a different voice uh, announcement file. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Carbon monoxide has been detected in the building. Carbon monoxide has been detected in the building. Please evacuate immediately and move to fresh air. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Carbon monoxide has been detected in the building. Carbon monoxide has been So that's it for the system, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'm sorry if I did not cover something you wanted to see in this video. Uh, just please let me know and I'd be more than happy to film uh, whatever you'd like to see. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.